Okay, this is called Aligot that I'm making today. It's basically a pile of potatoes and this particular cheese. It's um, a cow cheese. It's very, very young. It's high in fat and it's quite moist. Look at, look, you can poke it. Come and have a look, look, look. So it, it you got, and all I'm going to do is mash the potato and then I'm going to add this grated with some pepper and a little bit of garlic on the top. And then I'm going to pop it in the oven and take it out later. And it is actually a very simple, very delightful um, vegetarian meal. And you can have that with a salad. You can... I just like it with cold beets, which isn't very vegetarian. <laughs> but you could have it with any crispy uh, crudités, whatever you really fancy. It's um, very easy to freeze once you've done it. So I'll come back when I've got everything ready and we'll just mix them together and pop them in the oven. Okay, so I've drained off most of the water. As you can see, I've left a little bit of the water in there and all of the potato. I'm going to add this little piece of garlic, which is finely, finely grated on my wonderful little grater. Right. I'm going to add some pepper. And I'm going to add some butter. And now I'm going to take my magic wand and really I need to do it this way so you can see, don't I? But it might be easier not to use. I want it smooth. I'm going to add a little bit more of the butter and then I'm going to add all of the cheese. This is an incredibly indulgent recipe. It's um, something you don't eat a lot of or very often but it tastes absolutely amazing. It's what you call a winter warmer and this is the very last probably of that sort of cheese that you can probably buy because it's going out of season. France is very seasonal in the stuff that you can buy here. Right, I wouldn't spoon. I think I'd probably do better with that now. Now, because it has a high fat content, the cheese has quite a low melting point which means it melts into the I mean it's designed for this recipe but I'm going now to add this again if you're asking me for quantities it really is just a matter of what you like. Some people prefer it less cheesy, more buttery, some people prefer it much much more cheesy. It goes well with salty foods and crispy foods, hardly any surprise there. Oops, there we are. But you can see it's already turned into this soft it's not like mashed potato, which is stiff enough to stand up. This is more liquidy and tastes better, really. But it's a heavy, rich flavour. And I think we'll have a little... Mm, it's a very good flavour.
Right, we've actually arrived at the puree stage. Now, I've got a selection of little pots here. Traditionally, you put it in one big pot, but it's quite nice to have these small little Pyrex dishes to serve it into because it now goes into the oven, bubbles for a bit before you serve it, which is actually rather nice because you've got the opportunity to do something different. So that's probably one big ladleful is probably enough per person. freezes very well in little boxes. It will just defrost in the fridge overnight and then you can pop it in the microwave. It's a very useful product, very quickly made. I won't say it's cheap because the, the cheese, the block of cheese I used was about a fiver. You probably can't use the same cheese but you could use something similar. You want something not too anemic like mozzarella. You want something that has quite a bit of flavour and you may make a, a melange of cheeses, a mixture. That would work quite well as well. So I'm going to put these two in the oven and um, we'll come back and see it when it's bubbled. Okay. Right. <clears throat> there you are. That's what they look like. And they are absolutely delicious. As I said, they freeze well. And we're going to go and have them with some cold slices of ham. Okay? And the big one. Mm. Don't want to drop the big one. Mm. And, mm, oh. Even sound nice. It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> mm. See. This will be the last one of the season because it's starting to get warm now and we will go on and eat some more summery type foods.